program has been aired and presented to you by a selected group of local independent businessmen who seek your cooperation to stimulate prosperity and create additional payrolls in our community. Uh, the next big memory I had of a movie that I went to was Fantasia. I just thought it was the best movie. When I had children, we came back and saw it again, still at the same theater, and they all cried. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing because I loved it. The music was terrific. And one of the pieces in it was The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which they now have made into a movie, and I'm really anxious to see that. So, uh, One of the big movies that I remember at the time was Gone with the Wind because uh, it was a four-hour movie. And uh, we got excused from school to come down and see the movie because of the historical aspect. Of and, uh, of course, I came, took advantage of it, came to the movie. I do know that uh, they had uh, special programs, and I think one of the special programs I went to was a ballet. But as I grew older and knew what involved ballet, I wondered how they ever got the stage to the place where it would be suitable for ballet. So, but, you know, a lot of things happen when you're not looking. Uh, there's um, a fire escape on the side of the building there, and somebody was always trying to either sneak into the theater or go out the fire escape door, and that was one of the things you had to check on every once in a while. Well, we did go to it uh, as often as we could, but I, uh, there's a scene that I remember uh, in front of the theater of a wrecked car. There was five boys from Perry snuck out of their home at night and went over to Union and stole some gas and and um, on their way back they had a car crash on one of the first big uh, corner coming out of Union and just near cremated all five of them and um, the police brought the car set it out in front for a message to everybody else that you don't pay to do those things. Uh, some of the shows that uh, was about that time was Andy Hardy's Double Life. I can remember the first day that I went to work at the theaters. Uh, we had that movie was on, and I think I saw it about 22 times. <laughs> it, it got a little tiresome. Now, I became a member of an organization called PEO, and I wore the pin to the theater one night. And when I got home, I didn't have it. So I called the theater and asked them if they had vacuumed. Oh, yes, they had already vacuumed. So I said, would you mind going through the debris and see if my pin is in there? And they accommodated me. I thought it was wonderful.